Start in child pose. Three more deep breaths. Release. Come on up to all fours. So your hands will be wide, knees under hips. We're going to circle. Start to circle your hips. So you're circling around your wrist joints and you're warming up your hips. So think of coming all the way forward, all the way sideways, all the way back. Next time you're back, pause for a moment and reverse direction. Deep breaths. Inhale as you come forward. Exhale as you go back. Last time. And then we're going to go all the way back for a deep breath. Come on back up. We're going to do a little bit of core. So your hands are going to be a bit closer than usual because you're going to be on one hand, knees under hips. Make your spine really flat. You're going to reach your right arm and your left leg away using your core. And we're just going to hold and breathe, lengthen, reach through your foot and your leg. Release with control. Reset your core, left arm, right leg. So this works on upper body strength, core strength, and then we're working your postural muscles, the muscles that support your back. Release. Again, right arm, left leg. And the key is to go slow. If we go fast, we're just going to be using other muscles. Think of going slow and holding and engaging. Release. Left arm, right leg. Switch. Right arm, left leg. And last time, switch. Release, let's try a plank now. Separate your hands a little bit. Tuck your toes, hold your plank, engage your core, tighten up your thighs, your glutes, press into your hands, reach to your head for a deep breath. Downward dog, send your hips back. Breathe it out in your downward dog. Two more breaths. We're moving forward. Look forward. You can hop or step forward. Align your feet under your hips. Come to a flat back, tabletop. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, you can fold down deeply and pull yourself down, or you can be more soft and just hang with bent knees. I'm going to do soft today. So do what feels good in your body. We're going to take a few deep breaths into the back. We're coming up with a round spine. Knees are soft. Slowly roll your spine one vertebrae on top of the next. Breathe into your back. At the top, stand tall, open your chest. Take a deep breath in your mountain pose. Lengthen your body, spread out your toes. Feel your heart beating. Half moon stretch. Reach your arms over your head, clasp your hands, lengthen your spine, inhale. As you exhale, go up and over to the right, send your hip out to the left. We're gonna hold for three counts, three, one, Two, three, on your next inhale, push into your feet, come up through the center, realign, relax your shoulders, lengthen, up and over to the left, hip goes to the right. Half moon stretch, you're trying to make a half moon shape with your body, breathe it out.
On your next inhale, come up strong. Hold in the center. Exhale, release your arms down and bring them to your lower back. Pull your elbows back, standing back bend. Lengthen up first and then go up and back. So it's not back through your lower back, but it's through your chest. Hold the back bend, look up, open your throat. Back of the neck is supported. Slowly recover. Come to your mountain pose and feel the flush of energy through the sides, through the chest. Hands together in front of your heart. Send salute. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, find your plank. Keep breathing and lower down strong. You can bring your knees down too. Cobra, so you can come up halfway or upward dog all the way, trying to bring your shoulders back. Downward dog. Or child pose. Five breaths. Moving forward, step or hop forward to flat back, folding down. <clears throat> We're coming all the way up through flat back, soften your knees, lift your head, spread your arms, reach up, inhale. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take a deep breath. We're gonna step back with wide feet now for wide leg forward bend. So I'm gonna give you lots of options. You can balance, so your hands would be on the hips and you would come halfway or a little bit and you would balance. If you want to work on more flexibility, you're going to reach down for the floor or your ankles. So see what feels good for you. I'm going to go about halfway. Engage your core if you're balancing, reach to the top of your head, lift your tailbone. We're going to hold here. Your knees can always be a little bit soft. Make sure we're not pulling on the insertion point of your knees or your hips, but you feel the stretch, you know, in the belly of the muscle. Two more. We're going to come back with a flat back. Lift your head. Inhale, strong core. Come all the way back up. Exhale, pause at the top. The triangle. You're going to turn both toes to the right. So you have lots of options here. So this movement starts in the hips. So feel your hips are starting to move the spine rather than the hips staying still in the spine moves. Think of the hips. So option one, you just come to here. Option two, you keep reaching down. Option three, that top arm goes up. So it's a triangle. Breathing here. This is straight knees. My thigh muscles are pulled up really strong. If you want more of a challenge, look up. Try to still breathe even though you're working hard. Hang in there, two more breaths. You wanna come up on a strong inhale. Think of the hips bringing you back up. Nice, exhale, give your arms a break. Turn your feet to the left. Take a moment, get grounded. Feel the movement in the hip. So if you came a little bit, you'll do the same thing on this side. If you came a lot, try to match what you did. My thigh muscles are really strong. Push down through your feet to lengthen your spine. Breathe. Hang in there, two more. On a strong inhale, push through your feet. Come on up. Exhale, point both toes forward again. We're gonna do the same wide leg forward bend. Inhale, lengthen. Maybe go a little deeper this time. You can hold your hips or reach for the floor. Or if you have a chair, you could bring your hands on a chair. Let your head drop.
From here, we're gonna practice a high lunge. So you're gonna come up to a flat back, pivot around to the right. You're gonna have your right knee over your ankle and your back leg is straight. So option one, you keep your hands on the floor. Option two, see if you can balance. The key is to really push through this back heel and look forward at one point. That will help you balance. Core muscles in. The full pose is reach the arms up. So there's lots of positions. You could be down and feel the stretch. You could be up. See what works for you today. Breathe, look at one point. Downward dog. Step back, take a break. Let's try the other side. Swing your other leg forward. Take a moment, knee over ankle, match what you did on the first side. Look at one point. Two more breaths. We're gonna take a vinyasa, which is the second half of the sun salute. Reach down for the plank, lower down strong. On your inhale, rise up into cobra or upward dog. Exhale, push back to downward dog or child pose. Let's breathe it out here. One more breath. Step or hop forward to your hands. Flat back, inhale. Exhale, fold. Floating up through a flat back, inhale, reach up. Exhale, mountain pose, hands to the chest, take a deep breath. Warrior one, step one foot back. Take a moment to find the right distance. So when you bend your front knee, it's right over your ankle. Hips are square. We're gonna be balancing after this. So make sure you have a really firm grounding through that front foot. Draw your core in, reach your arms up, warrior one. If you want more of a challenge, go up and back with your upper body and bend your front knee more. If you wanna keep it easy, just keep your body neutral, nice easy bend in that front knee. For two. The warrior balance, bring your arms to a comfortable place. Look down at the floor for a spot, drag your toe, and then try and find your balance. Body and leg are parallel to the floor. You could also hold a wall, that's okay. <laughs> try and focus your eyes on one point, this is all core. So that first exercise that we did when we were on all fours, reaching through the hand and the leg, we're using those same postural muscles in your back. Try to step back to warrior one. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, hands to your heart. Let's just turn to face the other side, or you could just step the other foot forward. So take a moment, find warrior one on the second side. Deep breaths into your solar plexus. Breathe into all that space in your upper stomach. Get ready to balance, spread your front toes, find a place for your arms, drag your back toe until you feel balanced. Engage your core, reach through your head and your foot. One more if you can. Big step back, try to step back to warrior one. Inhale, lift your arms. We're gonna take our vinyasa. Exhale, come to the plank. Nice work. Lower down, feel that purifying heat building in your body. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Let's breathe it out in downward dog. Child pose. Notice how much you've changed from this child pose compared to the first one you did.
Release. We're going to do a low lunge this time. So you're going to step one foot forward, knee over ankle. This is called crescent moon pose. So we're trying to make a crescent moon with the back of the body. So square your hips, look forward. Option one. Option two, you can lift your arms up. Option three, you go up and into a back bend. But listen to your body. Make sure you're not um, pressurizing your lower back, that the back bend comes from your chest. You could also just have your hands on the floor if you want to do more of a stretch. Listen to your body. We're going to hold and balance. Let's add a twist. Your opposite hand is going to come to the floor. Twist towards your bent knee. Reach over your head. We're going to take a vinyasa. Step back to the plank and lower down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, push back to downward dog. Let's try the second side. Bring your other foot forward, crescent moon pose, bring your knee down, knee over ankle at the front, and then see what variation you wanna do. Hands down on the knee or lifting up. Balance, look at one point, and zip up your core. Add the twist, opposite hand to the floor, twist towards your bent knee. One more breath. Reach over your head. One more time, we'll do our vinyasa. You can always skip this part and do a child pose or a downward dog. Take an inhale as you rise up. Exhale as you push back. Breathe it out here. We're going to come down to sitting. Release to your sit bones. So you're going to cross one ankle in front of the other for a twist. <clears throat> so whichever foot is in front, you're going to twist towards that direction. So if you want to be a mirror of me, you would have uh, your left foot in front and we'll twist to the left. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Opposite hand to knee, look back over your shoulder or close your eyes. Breathe into your spine. Stay in the pose, but look back towards me. Lift your back arm straight up and then do more of like a side stretch towards the opposite knee. So you're holding on strong to kind of lean over. That's it. You can look up or down. Go a little bit further. And then on a strong inhale, use your core. Come back into that twist one more time. Reach back, open your chest. Slowly back to the center. Just sit for a moment and notice that side that you just worked. We're going to take a forward bend. Hinge forward on your hips. Take a nice, easy forward bend. Let your head drop. Take three cleansing deep breaths in through the nose and then let a sigh go through the mouth. Let's come back, engage your core, roll your spine back up through center. At the top, give your shoulders a shrug. And then let's switch the legs around if you need to shake feel free. And then you're going to have your other leg. So if you were a mirror of me, you'd have your right leg in front. Lengthen your spine. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the right. Look back over your shoulder or close your eyes. Enjoy the twist. Think of twisting out any stress and tension that you hold between your shoulder blades. Stay in the twist, lift your back arms straight up 
and then side stretch towards the opposite knee. Really root down through that sit bone so you keep the weight equal through both sit bones. Go a little bit further. Engage your core, come on back into that twist one more time. Reach back to open your chest. Deep breath. Slowly unwind to your center. Feel all that space you created in your other side. Take a deep breath. Forward bend, rounding forward, stretch out your back. Deep cleansing breaths, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Engage your core, slowly come back. At the top, give your shoulders a couple of rolls. Take a deep breath. Seated wide angle pose. So you're gonna open your legs into a V. It doesn't have to be a big V. It could be, you know, a small one. See what feels good. You really don't wanna round back. So make sure you bring your legs to a place. Use your hands and try and sit up tall. Another trick is if you have something to sit on, much easier because then you can kind of tip forward on the edge of it. So take a second to get set up, nice and tall spine. So if you feel it here, you can stay here. If you need more, start to come forward. So you can reach for the legs, you can reach for the floor. Let your head drop if it feels okay. Ten slow, deep breaths. So check in with your legs. Make sure they're not rolling out in the hip sockets. Keep your knees and your toes pointed up. We're about halfway through. See if you need to adjust. Sometimes backing off in the pose can be more powerful to allow your body to release deeper. So make sure you're tuning into your own practice. Let's start to come back. Slowly release. To counter pose, we'll do a seated child pose. Help your legs in. Give yourself a hug and curl into a ball. Release, lift your head, shake out your legs. You're going to watch the next part because you might not be able to see when you're on the floor. We're going to do a bridge pose. So I'll show you quick and then we'll do it together. So eventually you'll have your feet grounded, shoulders tucked. We're going to lift up. Option one. Option two, you hold your hands and tuck your shoulders. Even if your arms are straight, try and tuck your shoulders so there's no pressure in my neck. And then when we come down, curl your tailbone. You're going to go much slower than what I'm doing now. Okay, so come on back onto your back. Now that you know what you're doing, you're going to draw your knees into your chest once you get there. We're going to do this pose twice. That's optional. Here we go. So you're going to ground to your feet. Tuck your shoulders. You don't want any weight in your neck. When you're ready, curl your tailbone, lift into your bridge pose. Breathe. And I'm going to talk about the benefits as you hold. So you're going to hold in your bridge. Breathe into your core. We're elevating the organs, so keeping them toned and healthy. We're also sending fresh blood to the head, neck, and shoulders. Check in, make sure your neck's okay. We're gonna hold for two more breaths. And then this pose is strengthening. Really squeeze your legs and lift your body with your feet pressing down. Untuck your shoulders. Try to roll down one vertebrae at a time. Let's come down and release. When you get to the bottom, pause for a moment, 
Take a deep breath and feel the effects of the pose. If that was enough, you're just gonna rest here. If you're up for it, let's try it again. This time I'll be quiet so you can enjoy it. Here we go, the bridge pose. Nice work. Carefully untuck your shoulders, roll down with control. Take a deep breath at the bottom. Do whatever feels good in the moment. You could stretch knees into chest. You could do some windshield wipers side to side. We're gonna do a quick counter pose here. So knees to chest or side to side with your knees, windshield wipers. And then we're gonna relax, Shavasana. So when you're ready, you're gonna stretch out your body and lay flat. Take a deep, expansive breath. And we'll be here for a short time, but make it quality over quantity. Really drop to that peaceful place. Let all your muscles go so that you can feel the benefits of your yoga. Namaste.